Wave News reporter Tori Gessner spoke with lawmakers about why they believe this could keep children safer and how others worry it's not enough. Robb Elementary in Texas had an armed school resource officer inside the building who shot the shooter, but the shooter was wearing body armor. Some Kentucky lawmakers say requiring SROs could still help protect students if something similar happened here. Others believe a much bigger change needs to happen. A tragedy in Texas. More than 1,100 miles away, some Kentucky lawmakers are doubling down on school safety. To me, the first thing to do in Kentucky is to have security at every school. Representative Kevin Bratcher says putting an armed officer inside each school building could help shield students and teachers from a shooting in the classroom. Last legislative session, he helped write and pass a law requiring just that in Kentucky. According to the state, there are currently 476 reported SRO positions in 152 school districts, which means 19 districts aren't in compliance with the law, including Kentucky's largest, JCPS. Their current plan, have 66 unarmed administrators inside the schools, building relationships with the students, and 33 armed officers outside the building, roaming in designated zones. It just blows my mind that JCPS actually voted all security out of the schools about three years ago. Now that was COVID years too, but uh, I think they've come to their senses now and they've got a plan going. It's, it's a great first step, but they need an SRO in every school campus and that's the law right now. Some say the problem is the law doesn't include any money to help the districts implement it. Bratcher says funding could come in the future, but those schools should work with the state to come up with a safety plan in the meantime. Representative Attica Scott says all of that is useless if common sense gun laws aren't in place. It's a pat on the back for legislators who also decided that people could open carry in Kentucky without a permit. So it's a slap in the face. On one hand, we'll do something performative like uh, school resource officers. On the other, we're saying we're going to create the Wild Wild West in Kentucky. The question still remains. With a General Assembly so divided and an issue so controversial, how do lawmakers come up with a solution together? Right now, politicians don't have a clear answer. This law goes into effect August of this year. It's unclear if there will be any penalties for districts not in compliance. Tori Gessner, Wave News.